it's 52. Um, can you um open up the um compartments and stuff? You seen it here already? Uh, let me see. Huh? Is this like is this where some of the firefighters sit and stuff? Yep. Nice. There's five of us on here, three firefighters, driver, Look. and a captain. So like um. Oh yeah. So what's inside this compartment here? This is just kind of our catch-all compartment. It's uh, cribbing. Yeah. And that's where the engineer's gear goes. We've got a backboard up here. Stokes basket. And this right here. Yeah. This is an outrigger. We've got two on each side. We had to set the outriggers up to get the ladder up. The ladder's a monster. So, you've got to have... so do you all have a firebox here? A box of the firebox like some stations have? And like, are the poles like? What, are those like old time things? Do not many fire departments use the pole anymore? No, they're kind of dangerous. They so, found. So not many people use those anymore. And this is a one story anyway. Look, yeah. All of our dorm rooms Look. are on the other side, single story. This is all administrative Look. offices above us. So what's in here? This is our rescue tools. All our hydraulics. We've got the spreaders. We've got yeah. the cutters. Yeah. The spreaders are a pain in the butt to use. Look. Awesome. <laughs> That's what we do. My favorite part of the job. So, um, how many, um, how many calls do y'all normally get in a 24-hour period? It varies. Every day is different. So, we make about 2,500 runs a year. So wow. You can do the math. And the airbag Air, Airbags. This, is a, this side's all set up for rescue. Different kinds of rescue. Uh, auto rescue. This can be auto or... Yeah. Building, Look. whatever. Look. Yeah. Uh, Z-Mags, we've got some ladders here. Look. These are the airbags we use. Look. Just Look. the regular cylinders we breathe out of to inflate the airbags. I hear the scanner's pretty quiet today. I haven't been hearing anything on the scanner since I've been here. No. I think we've had one run today, thankfully. Um, was that a fire or a medical? Or what was that? Uh, it was knocked out as an MBA. Oh. Possible rescue. So how high does that ladder go up? It's a 105 foot ladder. Wow. Jeez, that's more than what we've got. Ours what, is a 75 foot. What do you, what do you do? It's a big what do you ladder. work at? Uh, Spencer County Fire and Rescue. So, how, what, what do you have over there? Like, how long is your ladder? 70 foot. So, what's in here? This medical kit, There's neck locks, that's oxygen. Some more neck locks. Neck locks. Um, this is all rope. It doesn't look like anything because it's just bags. Yeah. All the rope is within bags. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's more ground ladders. That's nice. This is the only way we have to get water. Truck holds no water whatsoever. But we can be supplied water. We've got an airway or a waterway. Like, where do you get your water from then? We would get it from the pumper. Oh. Does this truck over here hold any water? Yeah. Yeah, 500 gallons. Uh, uh, so either one of those. Uh, I don't know where your dad is. He's out there, Bill. Okay. Where's the bathroom? Um, Alright, I've I, I, I got one more cup here. I've got one more cup here. Alright, and then here is basically... One more minute. Can I have it a little bit longer? All right, here's the rest of this truck. Oh, yeah, okay. Where are we? Right here. Look. This side Look. set up more for fire. The more other side fire more stuff. for rescue. Look. This side more for fire. Yeah. Look. Look. Chainsaws. Look. Uh, quick Look. vent. Look. Uh, K-12. Look. Some lights. Look. And during fires, um, why do you all... I've noticed a lot on fires um, that I've seen and been to, um, why do y'all cut a hole in the roof normally? Because we've got those guys, guys that have hoses, yeah. are going inside, and if we don't let the heat off of them, they're working in that heat. So, so do we're y'all... trying to get the heat and the smoke off and out. So do y'all repair the, the damage once you're done, or...? We'll cover it if there's enough to salvage. That's part of the truck's job as well, salvage and overhaul. Yeah. So if there's something salvageable in the house, we will cover it up so that no more water can get in if it rains or what have you. Yeah. We try not to break more than we have to. Nice. Um, rip kit. You know what a rip kit is? Yeah. Okay. This is a man sack. That's for getting out large people. 
Gotta have the fans. Yeah, gotta have fans. This is a watchdog system. This is just an accountability. And here's another catch-all compartment. Okay. Tarps, part of what we do, the salvage and overhaul, we'll cover stuff if we have time, if we can, we want to save as much as we can. Torch, we just get water out, and then more tools, more hands It's just a big, the truck's just a big tool.